it's it's it stayed down. But in the in the, yeah. the, the initial drawing was like that, and this was out. It was like a chrome here. Yeah. But, uh, but today we have been working with all this fantastic team about a project I had called a trial for interior garden. I had cut uh, some little pieces of copper and uh, it was long bands and it was uh, small plants, small animal birds and also abstract drawings inside. The idea was to put uh, the copper inside the glass and to see how does it react about elasticity, about color and about also the surrounding of the copper if there was some, something moving in the glass like aquarella color or something like that. We did several trials. One was working really good with a, th a rather thick copper. It was a spiral like that. We can have the bubbles going everywhere outside. We did another project with a kind of crown. This crown was uh, included in a sphere. It was rather complicated, I think, to do because it was very heavy and the copper is not uh, all-time cooperative. Uh, the most surprising was to see how the heatness of the glass could destroy the metal. In some places, uh, the metal has been completely absorbed by the heat. When you make a very precise drawing, and suddenly you see it uh, disappear completely, it's really surprising. <laughs> I'm not a designer in the normal sense of the, of the way. I am more on the side of art making uh, unique objects and sculptures. It's really completely new for me to work with a blown glass. It's very interesting because it's very quick and it's very living. Fine. I think you need another session. Huh? Yeah, I need, I need. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I work in front of an audience. With the system of the glass lab also, it must be uh, more direct because you are in front of public and you have to play something, which is very funny for an artist who is always working in a studio close and uh, never outside, you know. It's more like working like uh, with musician or something like that. It's very nice. Merci. Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup.